What's going on world? Back at it, another video. I know this table is a mess, um, but I wanna uh, show you guys some stuff that I bought All-Star Weekend for Joni and I. Needless to say, um, we, I got a little out of hand, but there's a lot of cool stuff that dropped, and I went to LA on Monday to pick up a lot of the stuff that we had picked up besides the stuff you guys show me uh saw me post on instagram the other night so i picked up so this all is stuff that dropped all-star weekend or stuff that we're dropping this week that i wanted to show you guys so um let's get to it yeah so first thing i want to show you before i show you any of the pickups is we dropped a bunch of new shirts first time colorways on un stuff right so we got the neon and black un stamp logo and these still qualify for the scratchers i believe we have three winners left we had a winner yesterday but we didn't post them on instagram he's coming back today so we could post them on instagram so the first one is this one now this color and this other color right here the white and black are the first time we've ever done these i only printed a hundred of each color so these are pretty limited and again they qualify for the scratchers while supplies last we have three uh winners to go so yep un stamps right those are new colors and then we did the un arabic box logo in a set of different colors right first one is gray orange the next one's like a heather peach on peach then this is the one that we dropped in dubai the Arabic white with red the black red we didn't even post it on Instagram yet well we did but before we even posted it on Instagram it started selling like hotcakes so this one has been pretty well received black red I like this one a lot the white with the Navy and then we did Navy on Navy so what do you think of these, Charlie? Which one's your favorite? I like the black and red too, yeah. but I really like that white. You yeah, the white, stamp logo. the white and black. Yeah. So yeah, that's all the new shirts, and again, all these qualify for the scratchers. The um, shirts are forty dollars, and we have sizes small through three X. So jump on that before those sell out. Like I said, some of those colors are really limited. The peach one was the one that we printed the least of. So um, I'm not printing like basically i'll be honest we're testing a lot of these colors to see how they sell or how well received they are and some colors that we weren't too sure about even though we like them a lot we made really small runs and it's done and done once those are done once those are gone it's it's a wrap so the next stuff i want to show you is some of the supreme stuff i bought so you guys know that the supreme in-store uh release happened last week and then today thursday the 22nd was the online release so during all-star weekend we were fortunate enough to have somebody you know who went and put in a lot of work to get a bunch of cool stuff and i i uh being the hoarder that i am the hype beast hoarder that i am saw a couple gems in there and was like man i i, I need to buy that so First one is Supreme Zippo, the red one, which I don't believe they've done this. Uh, even though this is the most iconic colors that you, you know Supreme for, I don't believe they've done this color pattern on the Zippos. So I don't even know if I'm gonna use it. That one's gonna sit in the, in the room. The next is, uh, I got the, the cup set that I bought this and then one of my employees dropped and luckily it didn't break. I'm gonna be putting monster in it and then like I'm gonna rig it where it's like this and then drink. No, I'm joking. Uh, so as I try to break it myself. So yeah, Supreme Cups. I think we have actually we actually have a set of this for sale on the website. Also, if you're interested, I don't know what the, it resells for, but we have one here. So those two items. You guys know I'm a big Prodigy Mob Deep fan. They actually did more Prodigy tees, so I I jumped on it. 
The sizing is, again, has, when the Nas tees dropped, they changed the sizing a little bit, so they went back to oversized kind of thing. So a large fits like an extra large, and a medium fits like a large. So uh, just a heads up on that, but I, I bought both. I bought two, I bought a black one and I bought a red one, which are, happen to be two of my favorite colors. So this was from the new Supreme, these are my pickups. Oh, and then there's this one last one. I haven't opened it yet, but the glow in the dark hoodie, which is paying homage to 3-6 Mafia, even though it's not a 3-6 Mafia collab. I think this one's gonna, this is probably one of the cooler parts, uh, pieces of week one. Um, really, really dope, glad that I got that. So these were my Supreme uh, 2018 week one pickups that you see here. Monday I, I drove off to LA to hang out with Eric from Band LA and Eric was really, man, I don't know where I would have been with Eric without Eric this week from Band LA because if it wasn't for Eric, I wouldn't have been able to get any of this stuff. Hi, Joni, welcome. Why are you going behind the camera? A lot of these pickups are yours, not mine. A lot of stuff's yours. So, but again, shout out to Eric, because Eric helped me, um, you know, one, he helped me get to a lot of these stores, and two, he actually put in the work, and I just basically paid the resale. Um, but he, uh, he saved me a lot of time and effort. So if first pickup that he helped me was a couple weeks ago, round two, posted this Ray Quanti on their uh, Instagram, right? It's from 2003, right? A lot of people didn't even know this existed. But right before Ray dropped Only Built for Cuban Links 2, this shirt came out. Ow. Mi Igado. Yeah, I picked this one up, right? On a proxy from Bandalay round two. I'm bad at folding. The other one, I went to round two. I saw Chris from round two, and Chris was cool enough to let me into the gallery, which uh, was closed that day, because I, I, they just, some days it's open, some days it's not, right? And I. I mean, being again the hype beast hoarder that I am, was like, yo, you, you think I could get in the gallery, fam? This one time and just pass over, right? So when I, when I go into the gallery, I try to find stuff or look for stuff that I haven't seen, right? Like I haven't seen before, I haven't seen in a while. Um, just because I appreciate the stuff you don't see every day. And although I don't really mess with box logos, I bought this box logo because it, it's a 20 anniversary one and you don't see it and i'll, I'll be honest I'm, i probably cop this to sit on it a little bit and then down the road flip it kind of thing so 20 anniversary box logo they had this one listed at a thousand for a t-shirt that's brown And then there's the 20, you can't really see it, but it's there. I know it's not gonna f transition well on the camera. Can you pick that up yeah. or you can? Yeah, so this is 20 anniversary Supreme Box logo. Would you wear this? Yeah, I like that a lot. For a thousand? Damn, man, you must have, you got it good, bro. If you pay a thousand dollars for a t-shirt. Learn man. from the best. <laughs> Learn from the best. Who's paying you? that you could justify spending a thousand on a, on a t-shirt. Johnny, are you paying this guy? Charlie? <sighs> Anyways. All right, so let's get into some sneaker pickups. First one, I wanna shout out Jonathan from Y3 out in La Brea. Held me down, he used to work out here and randomly texted me and was like, hey Jay, I know you're in a Y3, do you want these? And I said yes. Now, they didn't make anything smaller than a size 9. And Y3 runs big, so I'm high-key swimming in these. And then, you know, I gave Eric from Bandelay a list of shoes that I wanted. And, well, I have two pair. 
I ain't fit, bro. What size are those? They're size nine, but they really fit like a nine and a half, ten. But you might see me wear these one time, cause I stay on that hype beast, dog boy shit. Band LA was like, yo, there's this coat, and I was like, is that a trench coat? And he goes, yeah. And uh, I was like, yeah, yo, I'll take it, cause I'm I like trench coats. And then he shows me what he bought me, and it wasn't even a trench coat. All right, so uh, first one is. Jonathan from Y3. Drop this. Uh, he hooked it up with this shirt. He didn't give it to me for free, but he advised me that that Y3 La Brea store is the only place to get this shirt. It did not drop it 747. So this is oversized. And then the other part was the jacket. Now, Eric told me this was a trench coat. And I don't know, maybe in LA, trench coat means oversized bomber jacket but this is an extra small fam look this is an extra small charlie this will fit you bro right for the record how tall are you charlie six four how much you weigh about 210 yeah so this would look like a normal jacket on you this looks like I have, I need some growing to still do. So, um, yeah. A couple more Big Macs should be on the way. Couple? I need like about four or five hundred more Big Macs, bro, in like three days to weigh that. So, yeah, so those are, those are the Y3 pickups. You know what these are, Charlie? No, oh, man, what is that? I picked up a few. So they only made 200 of these. I got, I got Joni a pair, and I got me three pair. They made 200 of these. I opened one of the bags. Well, actually I bought this one with the bag opened. So I feel cheated out of the experience, but I got it for a fair price. Shout out to Cool Kicks for this one. These are called the Rude Boy Bumba Clots. No, I'm joking. These are the Pharrell's BYW. Only 200 pairs. And resells between like a thousand and sixteen hundred. By now, have you? Are you guys watching on the little side the calculator that's telling you how much I, I spent? By this point, we've we've gotten out of hand, dog. I I can't even I can't even do math that fast. The BYWs are comfortable. I mean, I get it. The colors are loud. I appreciate the limit the limited availability of these, and I think that's what made me and so many other people want these. But you know, this kind of reminds me of Cool Runnings back in the day, all right? Super back in the day, Jamaican bobsled team. So I think I'm gonna have to Bob Marley it out. I got the dreads, I'm gonna get the colors. Now I just gotta get like the right shirt. Y'all know I'm gonna be able to pull these off well. I pull everything off. So we got one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair out of 200. That's, that's these. You're making me blush, Charlie. I got these in a size nine because I couldn't find an eight and a half. Shout out to Soul Stage for holding me down with this one. Um, I'll eventually come back around to this one and get an eight and a half, but the nine will do for now because hype beasts do real hype beast stuff. Throw that on the calculator. You like these? I, yeah, I actually do. I wasn't that big of a fan of the Wave Runners, but I really do like these. I put these on and they're comfy. They don't have boost, but they got these ortholite insoles in them. You know, and this is perfect for that, you know, middle-aged hype beast that got bad feet and his toes are all kung fu grip like this this is great for your feet i can see myself wearing these all day and i beat these into the ground can't wait and then i got some cortez cannies 
Those are sick. Yeah, these aren't though. I can't wait to wear these with oversized dicky shorts, long socks, and a like tall white tee. I got the I got the socks down, dog. And then this this already it already tells myself tells me um, that it prefers that I only stick my fi feet in here if there's a, I'm wearing tall socks. I'm not making this up, bro. Like, look. The shoe has instructions on how to wear. So, I mean, I got the dickies down. I got I got these like khaki dickies. I'm aware, and I got this tall white white tee that I bought at Foot Action before they closed because they're leaving. And the white tees, the tall tees were on sale. Did you get any of those tall white tees and and at Foot Action before they closed? Nah. You maybe should get down there, man. They're in clearance next door. Last day is the 26th for Foot Action. <coughs> Sad to see my neighbors leave. But it's another pair. I got these for a fair price. Okay. Do you like PlayStation? No. Yep. These are mine. I showed these for like All-Star Weekend stuff. I kept them at the store just because I knew I wanted to do this unboxing video and stuff with all the All-Star Weekend stuff, but you know these were kind of limited too and this is uh i needed a basketball shoe for when i get out there on the court and play 2k because the way a boy's legs are set up i can't really i can't really run that well um these are jonies oh no these are mine i'm mine i got gold toes not like in real life, I mean like like shoes. My toes are gold, they're gonna be. There's another shoe over there that I got Joni too though, so I'm not gonna talk much about these because I did the unboxing the other day. Uh, I did get Joni, I got Joni a pair of these. Joni, where's your other, where's your Yeezys? Can you bring them here please? So I got these for Joni. Oh, what else that Joni got? Yeah, so Joni got a pair of 500s, right? Six and a half gang. I got her a six and a half and she got a seven. So Joni got her two pairs. I bought Joni these. These are fire. Joni supposedly bought me these, but Joni, do you know where my pair of these are? She told me she bought me two pairs of these because I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna need two pairs. Yeah, can you find that? I'd like I'd like to have these. How do you lose your memory? Did his hard drive crash? So yeah, I got these for Joni. I really want these. I would have bought them a long time ago for myself, but Joni was like, yo, I got you. And I don't know what happened. I really, but I really like, like, it's like a liner and then like a sock over it. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. And why three, like, I get it. Like, they might not be the most aesthetically eye-pleasing items to look at, but comfort-wise and quality-wise, this is, like, far superior than anybody else doing sneakers. I like the way those look. Yeah, no, these are tough. So I got these for Joni. Retail was 420 I got these for Joni. Bread toe. Uh, and you can see what I paid for. This was also another pickup at Cool Kicks. So, the quality on these is, is very good too. I am running out of room here. And let's see what we got here. Best sneaker of all time. Not up for debate. Of all time, Craig. Of the world, Craig. Yeah, this is by far my favorite shoe, right? And then, I don't do white shoes much, but I grabbed these free throw lines. So I won't talk much about these because I showed these the other time. And then, for my favorite pickup of the entire weekend. 
They only made 30 pairs of these. What are those? Rare. It's only 30. Retail was $5.95. I paid three times that. We're about three times that. All right, and then special box. So this was a collaboration, Nice Kicks and Shoe Surgeon. Did this, right? Then he signed that. I've I've fondled these a little, so it's not like DS packaging, but you have the Jordan with Velcro straps that he did on the shoe, right? There's Nice Kicks, Shoe Surgeon. And then there is a bunch of these in here. And well, I think that the way I'm going to wear these is not the way that you've seen them on social media kind of thing. I'm probably going to do something like something along these lines is probably how I'm going to wear them, bro. I think it'll hold. Yeah, so that's probably how I'm going to wear And then, you know, probably do like, it's probably how I'm going to wear them, bro. I'm not going to wear this hang tag, though. That's, that's that boy-ish right there. And then, yeah, something along those lines is probably how I would do it. And then. I would probably take this off and give shine to probably the guy that had the majority of the control over the design. And you want the orange prodigy supreme tea? I would love the orange prodigy supreme tea. Thank you. So I just picked up another supreme tea right in the middle of doing this video. Retail? Damn. Beauty underwear? What? Beauty underwear. Uh, what type? Supreme. Yeah. And I just bought some Supreme underwear. So, these are all my pickups and all of coins I spent on all these pickups, which was very out of control. Um, but, you know, these were all, I think, pretty much all the sought after stuff. And we were able to acquire all of it in less than 24 hours which is kind of wild because none of these releases for the most part happened in vegas all this happened in an entirely different state like this was only nice kicks right this one i mean yeah we got this one here i got that one here i got this one here everything else came from somewhere else so um but as always i appreciate you guys watching the video Make sure to hit like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already and you want, upload some content to jclopez.com so you could be featured on our channel and pick up some of those UN shirts. As always, appreciate you. Catch you on the next one. Now I'm gonna limp my way out of here because my leg really hurts from these tattoos. Adios.